Welcome back. We were just looting the Fighters Guild, and we are making quite a bit of money. Um, but I think we have sold the armor to all the people who are going to buy armor in this little town of ours. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to come back here though, so probably anyway. Uh, so let's go back to Balmora and we can sell our stuff there and also report back to Kai's Cossates. Quite abrupt. Boy, my frame rates are not the best in Balmor. I apologize for the, the stuttery appearance. At least the rest of the game seems to run pretty fine. Alright, let's quick save. Just in case he knows we have stolen goods somehow. 1500. So that's worth 1400 in and of itself. Which means we want to try and get at least 700 for that. Four, eight twenty five, eleven twenty five. That means we should say seller max. No, give us fourteen fifty. Okay. Let's see, we're still holding on to our light armor and this shield. Which means... He doesn't want that. How much gold do we have now? 3,000. Sweet! You can always sell stuff to the pawn broker, right? 250. Plus 15. Plus 40. That's 55. So this is about 300. Let's try and get half. Come on. Cool. All right, let's go back to, actually, let's go train our spear. Let's get our spear to level 40. Somebody whistling at me. Any marksman trainers I would like to train? Marksman.
bet you there's a marksman trainer in the thieves guild. Let's go see if there is. Our illusions at 20. Still don't have any really good illusion spells. We should have checked out the other mages guild in Vivek and Aldrin. You don't have any training. Your trainer sneak. You know what we kind of need to level up is our security. Sugar lips. My name is Sugar Lips. Sneak. Okay, let's level security. And sneak. Can teach nothing about that skill, so we're too high for him to train us, I guess. He doesn't offer services, right? Okay. Hmm, really? Where's one supposed to train marksmen around here? You seem to do pretty well leveling up mercantile. There are no marksmen around here. What about upstairs? Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. It said I was permitted, but it was locked. Is there a marksman trainer then in the fighter guilds? It's just, uh, marksman is agility, right? Huh. Well, let's go back and double check. I am a sleeper, one among thousands. I bring you a message. Dagoth Ur calls you, Soren, and you cannot deny, can't deny your lord. The sixth house is risen. And Dagoth is its glory. Dagoth Ur. He is the Lord and the Father of the Mountain. He sleeps, but when he wakes, we shall rise from our dreams, shall sweep our land clean of the Nawa. Why have you denied him? As Lord Dagoth has said, all shall greet him as flesh or as dust. What about the sixth house? The sixth house, the sleeping house, House Dagoth, the house of Lord Dagoth. The true house, the one house to welcome all true Dunmer, and drive the Nawa from our land. Take heed, Outlander. The day of reckoning is at hand. Take what you can and leave our place, for when Lord Dagoth comes, this will be no place for you. What the heck, man? He just walked up to me and started saying that. I spoke with one who called himself a sleeper. He called me by name and said, You cannot deny your lord Dagoth Ur. The sixth house is risen, and Dagoth is its glory. He made no sense at all. I think he must have been mad. Yeah, seems about right. So this Dagoth Ur guy seems to be the central villain. Potentially, anyway. Seems to be shaping up that way. Uh, I'm looking for marksman trainers. Ooh. I could train light armor instead. I kind of just want to get an agility skill up. Yeah, let's do my let's do light armor. Oh, too high, I guess.
she won't train me because I'm not high enough in the Fires Guild. We already leveled our spear, right? Yeah. Athletics is speed. I wonder what's behind that door. Well, not sure where we're going to get some marksman training. We're probably too high anyway. Seems like none of the trainers want to train me above 45. Well, let's just go back to Caius. We can get our new orders. Hello, Mr. Men. I am here to discuss my orders. Thanks for your report, but keep Zuzabani's notes on the Ashlanders. You need them. I'm promoting you and sending you to the Urshalaku camp to speak with Sol Matul and Nibani Mesa. But before you go, I think it may be time to tell you what's going on. Wow, did we get to actually <laughs> hear why the Empire is interested in all of this? The Emperor and his advisors think you have the appearance of meeting the conditions of the Nerevarine prophecies. Oh, okay. That's why you were pulled out of the prison on His Majesty's authority and sent to me so you could satisfy the conditions of the Nerevarine prophecies and become the Nerevarine. Here, this is a decoded copy of the coded package you gave me when you arrived. Read it later, it should explain everything. As you'll see in the decoded message, the Emperor and his counselors say you have the appearance of satisfying the conditions of the prophecy. Do you really satisfy the prophecy? Are you really the prophesied Nerevarine? At first, I thought we were just supposed to create a persuasive imposter. Now I don't know what to think. But I am sure of one thing. This is not just a primitive superstition, and we will treat it seriously, just as His Majesty commands. So, Zane Tsubani says Zulmatula and Niba Mesa at the Urshalaku camp are the heads of the Nerevarine cult, so I'm sending you to speak with them. Tell them your story and have them test you against the Nerevarine prophecies. As heads of the Nerevarine cult, they can best judge whether you satisfy the prophecies. When you've spoken with them, report back to me. Here's 200 drakes for expenses, and pick up essential supplies at Fort Moonmoth. What's Fort Moonmoth? Moonmoth Fort is the Imperial Legion garrison southeast of Balmora, just outside of town. Radhard Hart is the knight in charge. Between the Imperial Legions and the Imperial cult staff, they have about a dozen services provi service providers out there. Interesting. But why... So... Hmm. Sounds like... I was originally supposed to be an imposter, but... Now... They're not sure? So apparently this is what the Emperor sent to, to Caius Cossades. Knight Errant of the Imperial Order of Blades, Director of Imperial Intelligence in Vardenfels District, Eastern Provinces. I have the honor to acquaint you with His Majesty's wishes concerning Soren, an individual of no rank or consequence. Soren has been released from prison by His Majesty's authority and sent to you with his, this missive. Soren is to be entered as a novice in the Imperial Order of the Blades and is to serve under your absolute authority as you shall see fit, except insofar as His Majesty's particular wishes are concerned. His Majesty's particular wishes are as follows. A local superstition holds that an orphan and outcast, a youth born on a certain day to uncertain parents, shall unite all the tribes of the Dunmer, drive out the invaders of Morrowind, and shall re-establish the ancient laws and customs of the Dark Elven nations. This or orphan and outcast is called in legend the Nerevarine, and is supposed to be a reincarnation of the long-dead 
Dunmer General and First Counselor Lord Indoril Nerevar. Soren has the appearance of meeting the conditions of this local superstition. Therefore, it is His Majesty's desire that Soren shall, insofar as it is possible, satisfy the conditions of this ancient prophecy and shall become the Nerevarine. Though this prophecy is indeed only an ancient local superstition, His Majesty has taken counsel on this matter with his most expert informants and confidants, and His Majesty is persuaded that the prophecy is genuine and significant, either in its entirety or in its, in its several parts, and he earnestly demands you treat this matter with the utmost seriousness. Certain aspects of this ancient superstition are described at the end of this document, and further materials will be forthcoming by courier at the earliest occasion. It will of course be necessary that you acquaint yourself better with the details of this ancient superstition from your local sources. Since this matter intimately concerns Soren, it is expected that you will employ Soren to gather information on this subject. His Majesty has taken a great personal interest in the legends and prophecies of the Nerevarine, and eagerly awaits reports. Eagerly awaits reports your reports. The Emperor had a little bit of a typo there, you guys. I have the honor to be, sir, your most humble and obedient servant. Galabrio Bellanius, personal secretary to the Emperor. Oh, so it was the secretary's fault. Guy should be fired. You need a new secretary. He's typoing up all your me your messages. Uh, okay. So the Emperor wants me to become the Nerevarine, but one thing I don't understand is the Nerevarine is supposed to drive out the Outlanders, which means the Empire, right? So how could that possibly benefit the Empire? Why are you sniffing Cossades? You got a you got a drug problem? Do we need to talk? Anyway. I want to check out the Blades trainers. Maybe, maybe all those questions I just asked will make sense in time. Isn't there like um? Yeah, Mr. Nine Toes. He was one of the Blades trainers. Teach me. Fine. How are we even supposed to get there? Usually it lies close to the Sea of Ghosts, north of the village Margon on the northeastern coast. Margon is supposed to be near Aldrin, right? We gotta go back there. Pretty sure. Uh, so this is Aldrin. That's Margon. That's pretty far north. I think we're we got a journey ahead of us. Let's go to the Moon Moth Fort, though, like Mr. Kase had suggested. And that way. Come on. That way we can see if there is any relevant supplies. That is a vibrant green right there.
It's like a neon. And I think we got rid of all the stuff, right? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's Moon Moth for it right there. Not really sure. So what do we need? We need more health potions. For sure. Probably get that at the... Well, I think they said they sell potions here, right? I've never been here. Hey, Mr. Imperial. Uh, what do we got on the local map? No indication of any sellers. Or merchants, as they are called. You sell things. How am I doing on arrows? 39, 34. That's over 70 of those. Kind of low on the silver. I wonder if we should try crossbow. She's selling crossbows. I don't think crossbows are in the other Elder Scrolls games. I think they removed them. Spears definitely aren't. Uh, don't see, I see bolts, crossbow bolts, but. No crossbows. Earthing. Hmm. Kind of lame. What spells do you have? Whoa, so many spells. I wonder if it's worth getting a healing healing spell. Can I even cast that. Failed. <laughs> What's my restoration at? Probably it's just terrible. It's a five. I could probably train it up, though. Restore with fatigue might be useful as well. Cure common disease. That might be useful. What? I'm a member of the Blades.
Oh, okay. I'll join the Imperial Legion. Oh, not allowed, eh? I don't know if you can really tell with this guy, but the Empire is sort of modeled after Rome. It's more obvious in the later games, but uh, especially Skyrim. They kind of did away with that in Oblivion, sort of just generic fantasy look. But in Morrowind and Skyrim, the armor they wear is very Roman-esque. Um, so this is kind of a waste of our time. Well, actually, I don't know if we ever even bothered to see what kind of potions she has. Fortify health. We want restore health. That's useful. I don't really need luck. Ninety. Okay. Let's go back to the Mages Guild. Hey, am I even? Yeah, I'm going the right way. We can up our restoration. Our athletics went up. I should just jump continuously. Wonder how long it will take me to up my acrobatics when I do this. All right, they're not going to let me in. Eight hours? Whoa. That was a fast fog. Alright, first things first. We're gonna go see if we can get a crossbow, because I'm kind of interested in trying that. Do you have any crossbows? I thought you used to. Silver. So what's the difference? Iron. Silver. I don't need the iron long though. I don't even know I have that. This says 1 to 26. This just says 20 to 20. That sounds like it's more consistent. Let's, let's try it. So we got a silver crossbow, we need some bolts, steel bolts. Three to four. And we'll give you, we'll give you 400, how's that sound? Okay. 
let's redo the key binds a little bit. Silver longbow, steel spear. Let's change three to be our crossbow. Love four be the silver sword sword. So there we go. And of course we have to equip the bolts. We'll try try crossbowing it for a while. Do not have enough magicka. Let's see if I'm hoping because our restoration is so pitiful. It'll be uh, cheaper to level up. Okay, you don't want to train me. Nope. We can't find anything here. We can always go to Aldrin. Okay. Restoration. 81. It's okay. Let's put a we're gonna we're gonna buff it up a lot. I don't know how high we can go. We'll just use all our gold. Okay. Okay, so we actually succeeded in casting at that time. All right, well, that's it for this episode. I think in the next one, we'll start our journey to the next place, which would be... Ushalaku Camp. I'll see you there. Bye bye.